Despicable 3! Hi everyone! Hello! There's one end of another do begin. We are at Royal Pacific Resort to, for one night. Usually it's to use and abuse the Express Pass for two days, but obviously we haven't done that today because if you saw our last video, we've just been to Volcano Bay. It's now around three o'clock, so we're gonna go and check in and see if our room's ready, have a little look in there, and then spend the afternoon and evening by the pool. We're on the hunt for the hotel lobby. Jim, says down this way on the... Um, We've arrived here today off the Volcano Bay bus, so we've not started off at the lobby, so we're just trying to wander around the resort finding it. We've walked past a couple of bars and restaurants now and they all look lovely. Look at all this. That's the bridge to the lobby. Oh, it is, isn't it? We've come into the tower to get in a lift. Lobby's on at level three. Who's it? Quite impressed. <laughs> what, the lift? Yeah. It's quite grand, isn't it? It's like Tower of Terror vibes. Oh, yeah. It's gold. Yeah, looks well fancy, doesn't it? Is it uh, this way? No. Yeah. Wow. How amazing does this lobby area look with the little elephants? Jimmy thinks that the guys are having a wee coming out of the dogs. <laughs> <laughs> so guys, I just want to show you a little trick that you can do with an empty bottle. I mean... An amazing trick with an yeah. empty bottle. You thought it was useless, but it's not. What is this? It's like a whistle. You gotta like, blow into it. Sounds like you're playing recorder. Yeah. We have got a room on the top floor. We are staying in 1707. Hang on, Jimmy. Do you want to do the honours, sir? Cut the hand. That's it. Ooh. Wow. I'll just do a quick little room tour. We've ordered, ordered, we bought, what's the word? We've rented. Booked. We've booked a two queen bedroom. So we've got the two beds over here. In the middle, there's something that's a lot more useful than what we've got at Endless Summer. We've got a USB port there. Oh, plus a functional drawer. There you go. Plus it looks like there's a uh, USB sockets in the clock as well, which we don't have at Endless Summer. I'm loving this light feature here. That is beautiful. And then out the window. This is what I'm excited about, because well, I've spotted something. So this is the seventh floor, and that is a gorgeous view. So it looks like that's the walkway into the lobby. You can see, see loads. Ride rocket, of oh gosh, yeah, if you look round to the left, you can see there, Island of Adventure. Rip ride a bit rocket. Of yeah, a bit of toothsome. Got a nice little desk here with a wheelie chair underneath. Some more charging stations just there. Got a little seat there with a mirror. And then we've got some drawers here as well that are slow closing. They're really nice drawers. I'd love them at home, Jim. I'm guessing this will be the fridge. Yep, in there. Oh, and the coffee making stuff. And it's all slow closing plus more drawers over here we've got the wardrobe that is a massive wardrobe you've got the safe for iron ironing board that is a huge wardrobe though loads of space you can fit your suitcases easily in there storage wise you've also got this huge bit of space over here as well when you first walk in to the left as the room is here, over this way, you've got the bathroom area. You've got a massive mirror here, plus the other mirror here, and the sink. Bit of storage there as well. And then the bathroom has a nice sliding door. I like that. I like a sliding door. Got some hooks up there. Huge walk-in shower. Ooh. That is massive. That looks lovely. And they're losing here as well. Enjoying the bed there, gang? The bed is wonderful. I'm just lying here watching Rip, Ride, Rip Ride Rocket go round. Yeah, as you sat there, you'll be able to see all the Islands of Adventure and Rip Ride Rocket over there. This is my bed. <laughs> Full stop. I'll tell you what, you two can have that bed and I'll have one to myself over we here. Will. <laughs> we will. We can and we will. Whoa. I can and I will. <laughs> 
I think the only thing I'm not mad keen on is this carpet here but that is a very minor detail. The decoration is gorgeous. I mean, look at like the art. I love the headboards as well. That's all nice padding. It is beautifully decorated. Right then, gang, what? what's the verdict? Very impressed. Very, very impressed. Nice. What about you, Jimmy? Oh. <laughs> I've got to say, it was... doesn't look dead impressed. Which one did you prefer then? Hard Rock, Portofino, or this one? If you like. It's obviously hard rock, I mean. Yeah, that's my favourite as well. Portofino. Portofino for you. But this to be is, fair, this. This, look, this is lovely. I'm more than happy to slum it here for <laughs> It's beautiful, it's a lovely hotel. Yeah. Is that in this second five? Yeah? What, and Portofino at the bottom? DNA, Ooh. get Jeremy, oh no, he's not doing it anymore. <laughs> the carpets and the corridors are lovely, aren't they? Where are we off to now? The pool world. This is where we're heading to next. We're down at the pool area and this looks amazing. They've got a lovely boat bit there with splash splash parts for the kids. We've picked a couple of sun lounges under one of these sort of like straw parasols. Really nice. To get the towels you have to show your room key over at a little hut and they give you towels and the sunbed covers. You know where it's got like the little hood bit where you can latch it over the top which is really nice to stop your towel from falling down underneath. This looks like such a relaxing pool area. This is the poolside menu. They do similar at Portofino and Hard Rock. And the one thing to remember with all of the poolside things here, it's 18% service charge added on, sort of not optional, it's a uh, compulsory. This menu is a little bit smaller, I'd say, than the Portofino and the Hard Rock ones, but it's still got the nachos on, which look good. And then it's mostly just like burgers, pizza, They've got a kids menu here, some lighter stuff there. I'm sure the soft drinks are more expensive at Portofino Bay. They're $3.50 here, obviously adding on the service charge and tax and things like that. Got smoothies, beers, wine, desserts, and on the back you've got the cocktails. I can't say we're massively having like the most luck down here by the pool. Jimmy's gone up to quite a few kids asking if they want to play with him and they've all said no. Poor Jimmy. They're telling the kids suck here. Kids suck. We don't really fancy anything off the poolside menu either, do we? Because we've had nachos a couple of times already. We've already had pizza. We've already, or Jim's already had a burger today. So I think what we might do is go into City Walk just for a bit of quick service there because there's not really that much keeping us at the pool at the moment. It's only half five and the film doesn't start for another three hours either. So we've got this little window, haven't we? Just to pop out. The pool is okay. I just don't think there's like really much to it. Like, because like the boat, it just get boring after that. I think there would be more, there should be more to the boat, to be yeah. honest. And the kids there just so Oh, <laughs> passion. <laughs> There's no port female or hard rock. Is no. This is the kids area here, this little splash bit, which is fun. It's quite cool just for a walk around. They do have lots of like beach balls that you can play with and we've had like a little go with like catching like volleyball like between us. We've had a little play, but I think sometimes with kids they want to play with more kids and none of the kids here want to play and um, there's no slide here either so at the other two at Portofino and Hard Rock there's a slide which is quite a bit of fun but here it is just that splash bit so you, you you have got a bit more at the other pools I would say. The slide always makes a great conversational piece <laughs> at one of our pool parties. <laughs> Bang one of these shoes every time. <laughs> New series, same jokes. <laughs> <laughs> In it. <laughs> We've decided we're gonna walk to City Walk and get the water taxi back. Literally the most beautiful walkway, am I right? Pretty beautiful. Pretty. Jim's sporting his new t-shirt that he got from Volcano Bay today, $28. 28 pounds, weight I've put on since Disney last year. <laughs> <laughs> on the walk it looks like you can also go to Sapphire Falls Cabana of Aventura, but we're gonna go City Walk. It's a nice pretty walk though, isn't it? It's nice, you can hear Hulk going round. Yeah, you can, you can hear Hulk on your walk. We're trying to work out what we fancy to eat. Me and Jimmy said we quite, could quite do a Panda Express, didn't we? Don't think we've ever been to that one before. We did say Jimmy could pick any restaurant as long as it's quick service, Chinese, <laughs> on City Walk. What do you fancy, Jimmy? 
Um, oh, so many lizards. We try not to stand on them. I don't really know yet how to decide when we actually get there. Okay. Yeah. Present you with your options. Yeah. Me and Jim on our walk are just chatting about future holidays because we could have stayed at Royal Pacific for the whole two weeks this time for an extra thousand pound, which is a pretty good deal if you're thinking you're getting the two weeks of fast passes. It's meant to be a elevated resort, but we're glad we didn't do that. And we don't think even if the price was right, if Bruce's price was right, that we ever would do a two week stay there, do we? No, no. It's a no from Jim. <laughs> it is on our musings, our. Uh meandering musings but no just we're just saying you know it's, it is it is nice seeing the room it's lovely but yeah hard rock and portofino they've got like an atmosphere yeah where yeah. that one just just doesn't it's it's proper lifeless know. it is proper lifeless isn't it unless we just call it on a bad night but even so i think i would just pay the extra and go to one of the other two I'd or just go have, endless summer i'd rather have two weeks endless summer yeah. two weeks at Royal Pacific. endless summer is fab we would like to do Cabana Bay though, wouldn't we? We would. And if yeah. Daniel Johnson comes knocking on the door with the postcode battery, <laughs> we would still like to do, well, two weeks at Portofino for me, two weeks at Hard Rock. How about we just say? Month stay. Yeah, month stay. I think a big and check, two Daniel. weeks at, um, at Endless Summer for me. You love Endless Summer, don't you? The kids are fantastic, aren't Great they? Great kids. Great, Great kids. kids. Yeah, literally, it's the opposite where we are. I know. You've made so many friends. Yeah. These are your main four quick service. You've got Panda Express, Moe's, the Whopper Bar and Bread Box. So me and Jim are definitely going to go for a Panda Express. What are you going for? I'm still wondering really. I want to see what the menu is. Oh God. <laughs> I think what we'll do is we'll show him the menu at Panda Express where we're going. See if he'll like anything there. And then uh, hopefully we can all eat in the same place. Eh? <laughs> The bread box has caught Jimmy's attention. He's going to go and look on the menu over here. To be fair, some of these look pretty good, don't they? I think that the four cheese caught my eye. The four cheese caught your eye. Cheese toasty. Oh, I love toasty. Oh, is it giving you Woody's vibes? Oh, you got a bone and cheese. <laughs> He's now decided he wants to look at all the menus before he commits to the grilled cheese. Yeah, like, there might be like something I really want at Panda Express. And I wish I had it, so I can't really get on. You can't commit. I think women are going to have a problem with Jimmy when they're older if you can't commit, eh? Hey, these are big decisions you're making, Jim, aren't they? Life changing, Life -changing. decisions. Right. So it looks like what size you pick is, how many entrees you get to pick, and then the sides are over here, like the chow mein, the veg, the rice, and then it looks like you can also half and half it. And the great thing about Panda Express is that it's right next door to Moe's Southwest Grill in case everyone wants different stuff, eh? Last time we did Moe's, this time Panda. We've got the kids one where you get a small entree, small side, a drink and a cookie. And then we all did a bigger plate where you get three entrees with your side, a fountain beverage as well. And the total came to 22 16. I'll tell you what, you can't moan about that value. Like, just over $22 to feed three people. I know me and Jim have cheated and gone for like one large main between two, but why not? <laughs> Jimmy's. This is a kid's meal, but I mean, this is a massive box of food, isn't it? To be fair. It smells amazing, by the way, Jim. Are you looking forward to that? Mm. Trying the famous orange chicken. There you go. What we've promised Jimmy is that if he doesn't like this, then he can go to bread box. Keeping Jimmy, his options open. <laughs> if you do like that and it doesn't fill you and you need a bread box, it's definitely yeah. it to me. See what you think of it. It's a big old box of food there. Nice. Really, actually. Yeah? Spicy. Oh, is it? It's like deal or no deal, this is. <laughs> yeah, Ready, Jimmy, for the reveal? <laughs> 250 tickets. Oh. <laughs> and again, this is absolutely huge, isn't it? You know, just for reference. You can't tell what, which dish is which, can you? 
Like I could tell you what's orange chicken, mushroom chicken, or what's the other one, black pepper black, chicken. Black pepper chicken. That's the that's the orange chicken. I'd say. I'll tell you what though, Jim. It's chicken roulette. Chicken roulette. <laughs> it's chicken roulette. You're already sweaty with the stress of it. <laughs> it smells nice, though, doesn't it? it does it to be really fair. Good. Right then, true story. Six years ago, we came in a massive group and went to Walmart. We don't normally go to Walmart, do we, Jim? We don't. And me and, and me and Jim bought a bottle of the orange chicken sauce, and we always said we're going to have to try this at home. It's like famous orange chicken, and it went out of date. We never did anything with it, did we? So I'm quite looking forward to trying this. Assuming that is the orange chicken, because it's a bit like a, like you said, roulette or a bag of Revels. Revel. Revel chicken. Oh, wow. That is amazing. Honestly, I can't wait for you to try it. it Jimmy's right, it has got a bit of spice to it. Jimmy is right. always right. But it's nice though, isn't it? It is beautiful. I can't honestly, I'm dead excited for you to try it. Never normally as excited seeing me walloping a plate of Chinese down my neck. I'm sure I'm a feeder because I'm always like, try this chicken. No, Tommy. <laughs> Eat your broccoli, Jim. Eat your broccoli. Eat your orange chicken, Jim. Right. Here I'm busting to see what Jim thinks of this. Oh. That's like, it's a real sticky sauce, isn't it? And then you get spice come through. I'm not even trying to do the sauce. If I go back in time, I just order orange chicken times three. Isn't that amazing? I was just talking to Jim about the Bowie of it because if I was to order, a, if I was to have ordered anything from the Royal Pacific Pool, it would have probably been nachos and a Coke. And the nachos were fifteen dollars. The cokes are like three or three fifty. Plus, you have to pay that eighteen percent gratuity and your tax. So one portion of nachos with one coat would have cost the same, probably if not more, than what this whole meal cost for all of us. So it's definitely worth coming to City Walk if you're not feeling the vibe at the pool. Am I right? This I do want to eat the grouchy kids. Oh, I know. Who wants to eat the grouchy kids? I also want to write a thank you note, Jimmy Fallon style, to Jim because he was doing the ordering and if I was doing the ordering I wouldn't have ordered orange chicken for Jimmy plus orange chicken in ours I would have ordered four different dishes but this man had the hindsight to order it twice this is when being unimaginative <laughs> time. to be fair me and Jim didn't do too bad on that Jimmy left a little bit of orange chicken that we helped him finish <laughs> didn't touch much with the chow mein He's still got the cookie as well, but that's in date until August next year, so he's got 11 months to eat it. <laughs> yeah, he could, couldn't he? But overall verdict, I'm very impressed. I'd say as well, that's no slight, the chow mein's ugly as well, it's just that there's that much chicken is full. Yeah. The chow mein's ugly, everything is really, really nice. Me and Jim both said, you could probably do that as an adult, couldn't you? Like what you got for a kid's portion. Yeah. Like, and the orange chicken is just a life changer. In it, yeah. I think this is definitely somewhere we would go again in the future. Even you again. said, even you said we'd go again, wouldn't you? I would, but tomorrow we're gonna go Blackburn. Yeah. Yeah. I fancy a Blackburn cinema. Yeah, me too. We've never been before there either, have we? Honestly, if you actually look at it, it doesn't look like it ever gets kind of busy, really. Yeah. So how do you have for it? Probably gets busy at lunchtime, Jimmy, because it's a sandwich place, not like really a dinner place, maybe. Yeah. Moe's and um, Panda Express was over there, but we've come round to the Whopper Bar just because sodas are a little bit cheaper here. They're two fi $2.59, so we're going to get one to share. We're going to take our $2.76, including tax drink. Look at the size of it, actually. Oh, no, decent. And we're going to sit in our favourite place at City Walk. We spent so many nights sat here when we stayed at Hard Rock, didn't we? Yeah, it's lovely. lovely. Just sitting here looking out over the water. It's so beautiful. On the camera, this has never done justice, you know, for like when you're actually here and you're looking at it. Look at that sunset over there. Gorgeous. While the lads nipped into the loo, I nipped into Bubba Gumps and made a quick purchase. I'll show you that later. We've then gone into Coldstone Creamery and got one of their large ice creams. We've got a strawberry with Kit Kat this time. But as we're walking back to our spot, it's melting. It's literally going a bit in the time that we uh, walked from Coldstone to here. Peace. 
Jimmy's got a taste for the Kit Kat now. He even took a bit off my own spoon, didn't you, Jimmy? I've only had one bit and he's had how many? Four, five? Four. Four. Oh, oh my God, oh, it's oh, calm oh, down. No. <laughs> it's like a feeding frenzy. Yeah. Take some. <laughs> like I have a big piece. Look at that. Look at the size of that. <laughs> big old pot of ice cream. This is a gotta have it size, which is large, and it was about seven dollars sixty one. No. My Kit Kat senses are <laughs> <laughs> Right, Kit Kat man. What you found? Kind of giant What's he doing? <laughs> oh god. <laughs> you wouldn't have guessed he's just had a massive bowl of orange chicken, would you? This is saying for you. <laughs> what can it? This is why we can't have things that are nice. Jamie is a messy eater. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> You're getting a bib on. The sun's setting a bit more quickly now. Look at this. Gorgeous. Oh. <laughs> Here comes the Kit Kat stealer. <laughs> Give me your Kit Kat. And this is the t-shirt I got from Bubba Gumps. It's long sleeved. We've got that on there. And the print on the back as well. It's a lovely material and it was $24.99. Reduced from 28. Bargain. Saved a three dollars. <laughs> Still, it's nice though, isn't it? It's You've not nice. saved three dollars. You've spent 24. But no, I like that. Nice. Yeah, it's a nice material, nice colour. Practical. <laughs> Practical and fashionable. Very good. It is 10 past eight now. Absolute beautiful sunset. And we're going to get the water taxi back to Royal Pacific because the dive-in movie starts at half past eight. So beautiful at night time. Hi City Walk! Look at that, Royal Pacific Airways. We're trying to find the entrance. I think you can get in like directly to the pool from here. Doesn't sound like the film started yet. Oh actually it might have done. I think I can see a screen. Just maybe set it up. Yeah. I think I can see him setting the film up so we're gonna head around to the pool. And um, I had a thought on the way back on the water taxi. Like how you got the Hogwarts is like entertainment between parks. I think they should bring the Jaws ride back on the waterways. Don't you think? Lots of musings on this walk, don't you? Oh no! I've been thinking loads on this. Crack it, uh... crack no idea. <laughs> they get those cheapskates like me that want a park ticket so just oh, no. go on the, uh, on the boat ride. But if you, you have to prove that you're staying in one of their hotels to go on the boat. The lads have gone to go and get their trunks on. I've come to suss it out a bit. And it looks like it's only this little bit of the pool you can see the film. We were told earlier that the film was going to be called Two Brothers and we googled it and it was about two lion cubs. It was like an old 2004 movie but I've come down and obviously lads still get the trunks on and it's some sort of Marvel film. I don't know which one but it's got Black Widow. It looks like Black Widow and Tony Stark so I'm guessing it's some sort of Avengers we haven't seen them all. Bad Marvel fans. I've grabbed me and Jim a couple of sun lounges here which is right by the pool. You can see the film just over there. But there's not many sun lounges where you actually get a view of the screen. It's mostly like the tables for like the bar restaurant bit where you can see it. And then most sun lounges are over the other side of that, like near where the boat was where we were earlier. Morning everyone. Morning. Except Grandpa Joe, we're only joking. <laughs> Jimmy wants me to get a photo of our view for one last time and for memories. We've just done the checkout through the TV. You literally just have to click a couple of buttons. And now we're gonna go and dump all of our stuff down at endless summer before heading back into the parks. But the main thing to remember, if you're doing the checkout, don't do the checkout where you drop your keys off because your keys are your express passes. Absolutely. So you've got to keep your room key with you for today. Do it on your telly box. Yeah. Now we're checked out and we're making our way back to City Walk. We'll do our final review of Royal Pacific. The first thing I want to say is that the pillows are amazing. Like the bed is so comfortable and you can't argue that, can no, you? No, comfy beds, agreed. Really comfy. Atmosphere lacking. I'm just a bit dead, fam. Yeah, it wasn't, I don't know if we've just called it on a bad day and we've been lucky at the other resorts, but even 
to the point of where they put the screen for like the movie in the pool hard rock do it so much better so i think in the future we would just pay a bit extra to stay there yeah and or the, fil the films on there's like you can ask jimmy there's zero sound was the gym you couldn't hear much couldn't hear everything Barely. screen was pony and like literally everyone in the background was just everyone everybody in in like the bit where the movie was on they'll play him so you couldn't just hear them splash him yeah. I wouldn't stay here again, if I'm being honest, no. no. I prefer, actually prefer it, end of the summer. I mean, we've got yeah. the bus of the Express Pass today, but just overall for atmosphere and so on, end of the summer wins out for me. Definitely. So, my final order, Portofino 1, Hard Rock 2, Royal Pacific 3. Yeah. And also, um, I am youth medium on the live jackets, but they don't always have the youth medium. They, they normally just have child small and child extra small. <laughs> so put in more medium life. Put in more youth medium. <laughs> That's a blast from the past, isn't it? Right, youth? I hope youth. Yeah. The view, amazing. Bed, really good. Like, any pillows were. Pillows and. But all right, I would say they were the best. You prefer more of a youth pillow? Oh well, no. <laughs> <laughs> it was kind of hard to be honest. Hard? It was the softest really pillow I've ever put my head on. I can't really get, I can't really like, and normally when I go on a pillow, like, my head just like just yeeps in and that's how I like it. Yeah. And it just, it's, it's quite hard to me. I'll tell you what the problem was, mate, is they were so fluffy pillows, they were really thick. Yeah. Usually I'd have two pillows, but I only needed one there, so that, and usually you would only have one when I would have two. Here comes the water taxi, that's the transportation you could have had today, Jimmy. Yeah, I'd rather walk. Yeah, like a proper youth. We're just coming up to the security point now, so I have to put the camera away. We're going to end the video here, and in the next video will be our express day at Universal Studios. So thank you for watching. I hope this hasn't put you off coming to Royal Pacific, because it is still a beautiful resort. But I think we've just been spoiled at Hard Rock and Portofino and so in our honest opinion, if you were looking to book, we would pay more for the others. Still lovely though, I mean, you're not going to be slumming it, are you? Absolutely. We'll see you later. Bye. 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 So guys, it's the end of the video. So please like, subscribe and you know, do all that good stuff and see you in the next one. Bye bye.